Good morning, Evelyn here. It's Sunday the 1st of May and I'm just getting ready to do the rocket. Got my, uh, excuse my babies. It's my number. Just been sitting here waiting for the ticket machine to open. And now I've got my ticket, so I'm ready to roll. All right, see you later, bye. <laughs> Hi guys, Evelyn here. Just got back to my car, finished the MK Rocket 5K, and here's my medal to prove it. Nice little rocket with the UK flag on it, Union Jack. So that's my first part, part one of the double races this weekend or this long weekend. So tomorrow I have the half marathon, so I'll be back up here tomorrow morning. Um, it starts at 10 tomorrow, but I don't know where I'm parking, so I'll have to reach here at, by at least 8 so I don't get held up. But today's race went so well. It's um, supposedly a downhill race, and looking at my Garmin, what it had logged, it definitely was downhill, but it did not feel downhill at all. The start was up a hill, so that was decidedly up a hill. You could actually see the, the top of the hill. Maybe the first half a K was uphill and then you could go down as you were going down as another uphill and then after that it was it felt more like a level with a few bumps as opposed to downhill but it definitely was downhill because I ran it fast for me every K was less than six minutes and 34 35 seconds so I actually got myself a PB. Even the first K, which is surprising because it's uphill and I hate it, I did it in less than seven minutes. I'm so proud, so happy. And I got, did it in 32 minutes and 55 seconds according to my watch. Um, I don't know what the official time is because it was chip timed, but I couldn't really check or couldn't see because I don't have my glasses with me. Check the website for the actual chip time. So when I get home, I'll have a look at that. But I'm so happy. It was a nice, sh felt short because obviously I PB'd. <laughs> um, but it was a quick race. It was um, started at one point and ended at a different point. It was a straight route. So the start and finish were in different places. And that's the first time that's I've been to a race that's like that. So I had to get a bus ticket to get the coach back. So I finished about nine. So I started at 9, so I finished obviously 9.32.55 um, and then waited around because I thought they were going to do like a award ceremony for the fastest runners but they didn't do that or I missed it. And then the bus coach back so it was at 11 so I went and had breakfast in McDonald's and sat there to keep warm for a little bit and then waited for the bus for about half 10. I was chatting to some other ladies and we were talking about our race experience and all the races that we're doing and stuff so that was nice got on the bus and just got off it to get back in my car to go home so i thought i'd do my little race report before i left happy to have collected this medal and ready as i'll ever be for my half tomorrow again i haven't been training for it so i hope i do well i'll just pace myself I'm not hitting for a target. I did want a PB today for this race because it was downhill and my aim was 33 minutes and I did 32.55. I don't know what the official time, that will probably be a bit longer. I missed the main clock to see the gun time. I don't know, blue is very deceiving or hidden. So I didn't see it, normally it's a red clock. So I missed the gun time, but um, don't worry, I'll let you know, I'll post a little picture below this to confirm the actual official time. I'm so glad I hit my goal because normally when I have a goal I'm about two minutes slower than it so I'm so happy I basically hit it on target so that's so great um, and I'll look forward to tomorrow's race I'm just gonna go home now rest up a little bit and relax and uh, prepare for tomorrow thanks for watching take care bye